to my channel, Purposeful Play, where I talk about all things early childhood education. I'm Danielle, and today is a bit of a different video. I feel like it's time to start cleaning out my teacher stuff and thought maybe it would be interesting to see what I have and what I'm getting rid of. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. Let's get started. having two, um, I was going to say teenagers, but they're not, one of them is not a teenager anymore. Our, our kids are going to be coming home this summer with a lot of furniture, mattresses, uh, dressers, all kinds of stuff. And we need to make room in our storage area in our basement. And so I am getting rid of my teaching stuff and it's time. I really don't think, I highly, highly, highly doubt that I will go back to teaching in the classroom. So I just feel like it's time. I'm trying to pull out a few bins uh, and clean them out, declutter every few days. Just, I can't do it all at once because I feel like I'm gonna take it all out. I'm gonna make a big old mess and then I'm not gonna be able to get it to a point where I can clean up and haven't cleaned out enough space. So, cause there's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna just start, I'm gonna just talk while I'm pulling things out. Um, really, I mean, it's not gonna be anything earth shattering, but I thought I would just chat about whatever with you guys while I'm cleaning this out. I have not actually been working for the last little bit. I, um, seriously. And of course I'm gonna interrupt myself all the time because I'm, uh, I'm finding some cute stuff and look at this one. These have gloves, little gloves and the headband. Yeah, I have a niece um, that's three and a half. So I'm gonna be giving a bunch of this to her um, if she wants it. I'm gonna kind of let ask them if they want it. And then I also have some neighbors that have younger kids. So I'm gonna see if they want all this stuff as well. So yeah, like I was saying, I have not been doing a lot of working. Um, uh, there was a big project that we were working on um, and it got canceled and I had like two or three days a week that I was doing. So that was a real bummer that those got canceled. So I actually have um, nothing until almost the end of this month. So um, I'm kind of bored. I really am. So that's one of the reasons also why I'm cleaning up cleaning up. Crosby is right down here. No. Oh, he thinks this is a toy. No, no, not for you. <laughs> um, so I've been doing a lot of crafting, a lot of sewing. Um, I like to, to make things. I made some bags for uh, some people for birthdays. Um, I have to show you these. These are ones that, Crosby, that I made quite a long time ago. So the little mask, um, he, you can't even see he's totally in the way. <laughs> Um, so I'm definitely, I'm actually not going to even give these to my, my niece because I want to keep them. That one, uh, I actually made four of them. I did not know this. These are super cute. A Dalmatian one and another, like a little black and brown one. These are cute. I, um, made those a long time ago and I love them. So I'm going to keep those. Still loving the job. I'm really, um, yeah, I just, I love what I'm doing. I like the flexibility of not having to work. I like, um, you see him just hanging out here. He loves me. He loves me. And he's always gonna be beside me. Um, I just like helping people. It feels like I'm still at least making, like having a, some kind of an impact um, on children's, you know, their education. So um, I'm still enjoying it. I have to show you this that I just found. I don't even know where I got all these. So this is the headband. This clips onto the, the back of, you know, the shirt or the, the, the pants. And it has these little claws. I mean, so stinking cute. And I'm like, oh, do I want to get rid of these? I feel like I kind of want to keep those for myself. Maybe one day, like I'll have grandkids and, I'll have, and I want to give those to them. I don't know. So what's coming up in the future for me? Hmm, I've got three trips to California coming up. Two of those are in Anaheim with a group I've been working with in Anaheim. Um, and yes, I did go to Disneyland when I was there one of the times. This will be the, 
how many times have I been there? Maybe the fourth and fifth time I've been there with them. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. Um, one of the perks of, of working and traveling is that I get to see some cool places. I am also going to California, uh, Oakland, yeah, Oakland, um, because of work, but then also my best friend is there. So I'm really excited because then um, I can use this as an excuse to see her. So I'm gonna go a couple of days early and um, I'm going to spend some time with her. So I'm not really showing you what I have. I just found some, there's just random stuff in some of these bins. Um, I have these little cars, little trucks here that I had in, um, great for like the sand table. I found some paint brushes. And then what else did I find in here? A giant dinosaur, like seriously, random stuff. I'm not gonna keep those things. Um, some of the things I can donate, some of it I just have to throw it out because it's really not that great. If you haven't done this before, having a bucket with water and a paint brushes, like bigger, big ones, small ones, that's a fun thing to do on, on hot days. Um, and taking these outside and the children can um, like paint everything just with water. Keeps them busy forever and ever, super fun. I've already got two little bins empty. And then I also emptied out um, earlier last week, those big, big Rubbermaid totes, three of those. So I'm getting there. So now I'm gonna do some dramatic play stuff. I always loved, this was a little apron that I made. Um, I love making stuff for my classroom and my students. And I feel like, you know, they were well, they were well used, well loved. And I really liked, I liked doing that with, with students. So I'm gonna miss that part of it, but I don't think that I'm going to miss all of the stuff that goes along with teaching. Okay, so Crosby, our dog, is um, chasing the cat. That's what we hear over there. If you've been watching my video since the beginning, you will have, well, you will have known that Crosby has made many appearances. He is our, um, he, he's not even a puppy anymore. He's like great tips on dramatic play stuff is just go to the Goodwill or you can ask family members and say, hey, you know, do you have anything um, larger sizes that we could have for our dramatic play? So just, I mean, dramatic play, making it as real as possible. Just so you know, the one of the things I just put in here was a bath mat, just because I thought it looked like a kitchen. It made the kitchen look more like a kitchen with a little rug in it. I also had a tablecloth that I made, just a big old piece of fabric that I, you know, sewed the end, um, edges under um, and called it a tablecloth. Come on, this teeny tiny little suit jacket. That is so adorable. Um, does anybody have one, of, like a, a, fam a famous, a, a favorite interest area? I always think like art is one of my favorites, uh, but I do love dramatic play just because there's just, you never know what's gonna be happening at dramatic play. Crosby's gonna knock my camera over. He's got his head in the box trying to take stuff out with it. He's a crazy one. And look at these little shoes, come on, so, so cute. Uh, I've always loved art and, you know, kind of as I'm pulling out dramatic play, um, stuff. I, I did, I do really like dramatic play. Like I was saying, it just so much learning can happen there. Uh, you know, just kind of figuring out real life stuff. You get a really good idea of what children have experienced in their life, you know, watching them in dramatic play. Uh, so yeah, it's just fun. I really like it. And I just loved, this was cute. If you put it, um, I had a plastic cup. Oh, I didn't I haven't even, I have a big bin of dishes somewhere too, but just like a plastic cup from the dollar store. And then this goes in the middle of the table. And it's like a vase that the kids can, you know. So this on a table with um, a tablecloth, like pretty cute. And I also made some napkins. Oh, here's my napkins. Like cloth napkins um, on the table. Again, he's gotta be right here with me, kind of pushing me out of the way. You know, something that I often hear people say is, you know, how can I be teaching children um, the alphabet if we're not actually sitting down and, and teaching it or doing like drill work. And I'm, I'm thinking like dramatic play, there is a lot of literacy and math happening, but you have to be really intentional with it. For example, uh, we had a shoe, shoe shop and the children were 
putting the shoes for sale and giving them, these were the sizes. So this one's a size one. Um, I'm gonna see if there are any other ones that have sizes on the bottom. Look, there's a size six. And the way that we found this is I, I think I just made, I'm trying to think what I did. I think I just took shoes and traced them on like a big piece of paper and then put it on the floor and then the children could measure their own feet using that. And then also they were helping figure out which size the shoes is, shoes the shoes were. So, I mean, think about it. That is classifying because they're sorting them by the sizes of the shoes or they could resort um, and do them by the styles. Maybe boots all go here, you know, and things that have, I don't even know, sparkles go over here. Um, so literacy, I mean, sorry, math. Also, if they're buying these shoes, they're counting out their money. Uh, maybe they're buying more than one shoe, one pair of shoes, so then they have to, you know, add those things up. So I don't know. There's just a lot that can happen in dramatic play. Now, if I hadn't set this up for the students, then this probably wouldn't have happened. I needed to have, you know, paper there. I think there's this was actually ripped, little just ripped paper and tape and markers. Um, I always have paper and markers and pencils and, you know, all those things at every interest area. Just talking to them and, you know, if they're saying, oh, I don't know if these shoes are going to fit, which ones should I get? That's when you're like, I don't know. I wonder what size they are. <gasps> you know, let's find out. So just, again, you have to really be thinking about that um, and being intentional with it. This is a size 10. I don't know if that's backwards in the camera or not, but look, a child did that. Fine motor, number recognition, um, size 10 little dance shoes. This was um, something I printed out, literacy. So they have to, um, the patient, or write, the doctor writes the patient's name. And then this was a, um, a check, you know, the heart. Does, do you think it's good or is it not good? Um, the eyes, um, the ears, the arms, so like reflexes, looking in their mouth, um, and then also checking their feet. So that was just put out with a dry erase marker. And um, this was when a doctor was checking out their patient to see how they were doing. So again, if this isn't there, it's not gonna happen. And children don't have to practice writing their name. Practice, 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 tracing it on you know, a piece of paper again and then again and again. They're practicing either their own name or their friend's name is right there. So I emptied out the bins. This is funny. And now I just have them all, like all the stuff laid out around me. I'm like, uh, I should probably actually do that next step of putting things away because if not, I'm gonna have a big mess to clean up after I turn this camera off. I found the this sticking to the side of the, the bin. I didn't even know it was in there. Um, but this was in the doctor's office checking, you know, someone's eyesight. But I'm thinking now, why did I print this out? Why did I make this? Wouldn't this have been a great opportunity for children to make it? They didn't have to use letters. They could have used um, numbers. They could have used shapes, colors, whatever. Again, just really thinking about how can you get children to write? How can you get children to be working on identifying letters um, and also making it purposeful and meaningful and like something that they're gonna use in their real life. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in seeing more of my stuff that I'm getting rid of and keeping. And I can keep recording these and sharing them while I am sharing with you what I've got. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a happy day.